So hey friends, a lot of you already know what I'm going to say. If you had a reservation for the Lollapalooza at Eisenhower State Park in the group camping area, then you probably got an email this morning just like I did. It said that the group site is closed for uh, the rest of the year. So yeah. Um, I spent the day on the phone and on the internet looking for alternatives for our meetup. And the reason that I had organized this so far in advance is so that we wouldn't have any problem finding a place to all meet up. Well, now that we're 30 days out, pretty much every place I called is booked up. So I'm a little bummed about that, but the only way I can look at this is that we just weren't meant to do the Eisenhower State Park thing, that we were meant to do it another way. So, unfortunately, I've only come up with three alternatives, and I wanted to throw this out to you guys and see what you think. So, for that weekend, Cedar Hill State Park, and they're located just south of the Dallas area. Um, it's really centrally located in the Metroplex. It's a really big state park. It's the biggest state park in Texas. So, they do still have something like 111 sites left with electric water and things like that. They even have some full sites with the electric water and sewer. The only problem with that is that we'll be spread out all over the state park. But that's really okay, I think, because we can meet up at Penn Farm. There's lots of tables right there, and we could definitely work it out and still have a group meetup place. And also, you know, we'd still be camped, a lot of us all right next to each other. So I think that might be our best option, and we can just transfer our reservations over to Cedar Hill since it's still in the state park reservation system. So that was the, the best news I had. The only other things I can come up with is if we wanted to just free camp out in the LBJ grasslands. There's no facility, so they have some pit toilets in the area, but I cannot guarantee that we would be camped anywhere near them. That's the problem with that. So I don't really think that that would be our most comfortable option. And then the only other option is I actually called all over Oklahoma today too and got on their reservation website. And the only thing I came up with was that they will rent us Duke's Forest, the whole campground at Lake Murray State Park, but they're booked for the weekend of the 26th through the 28th, so we would have to reschedule it for the first weekend in November. A um, couple of reasons I don't want to do that is it always seems to get cold after Halloween. Of course, you can't tell, you know, you can never judge the weather, so who knows if that'll um, be true this year or not. And then also, my sister pointed out that you know, Blind Views drew us that awesome logo with the Texas flag on it. And yeah, if we go to Oklahoma, that would be kind of funny. I'm not against humor, so, you know, that's fine with me. Oklahoma would work for me. So, I don't know, guys. Like I said, I really don't know. I think Cedar Hill probably is our best bet. Just let me know what you think in the comments below. Or if you have my email address, shoot me an email. Um, I'll also link that below. And um, if you have my cell phone number, just give me a text. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I really hope this isn't a bust. I am so looking forward to meeting you guys. I can't believe the Texas State Parks uh, threw this little wrench in our parade. But I think we can work through it, and I think it'll still be a good time. So let me know what you think. Y'all stay lost, my friends. Whenever I called uh, the State Park today, I asked them why fixing the electrical problem wasn't an option, and she said, Oh, no, ma'am. It's because we're a state facility and it just doesn't work that way. You know, state-run things could be closed for years, literally.